Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today we're exploring the 91st episode of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, as well as the 31st episode of Season 2 titled When is a Ranger Not a Ranger? We start off in Miss Applebee's class where Adam is showing off a kaleidoscope explaining how light is refracted into a way that makes absolutely no scientific sense whatsoever. Also, my god, is this going to be another Adam episode? <laughs> Miss Appleby asks for questions from the class, and when Skull raises his hand, she practices intelligent questions. Oh, chill, bitch. He then puts his hand down, and then Bulk asks about what the tallest building in the world is. And Miss Appleby says about the report, and yeah, nope, none. Then Zed asks the question of the episode. When is a ranger not a ranger? His plan? To have Goldar go get the kaleidoscope for some reason. In the park, Kimberly, Billy, and Tommy are playing with the kaleidoscope, and Kim is mystified by this generic children's toy. Then putties appear, and the three fight them off with ease, dropping the kaleidoscope in the process. Zed then turns it into a monster, Scatterbrain, who fires a rainbow light at them, demorphing them instantly. And they don't know who they are. They ask each other who they are, unsure, and Tommy tells Kimberly that she's kinda cute. That's a funny little way to acknowledge that they may or may not be dating at all. Scatterbrain disappears as we transition to the youth center where Rocky is amazed by a Newton's cradle with Aisha and Adam. Bulk and Skull walk in dressed in safari outfits, and they tell Ernie they're going to go on a stakeout before they come over to the three rangers getting hypnotized by the Newton's cradle, and Rocky says, you're getting sleepy, very sleepy and somehow they fall asleep with their eyes open. Then their communicators go off as the three leave with Bulk and Skull waking up. Rocky, Aisha, and Adam show up in the command center and they get caught up on the scatter brain and how their friends' memories are gone. Zordon tells them to go get them, to bring them back to the command center and to get them to safety. They teleport into the park where Billy is talking to Kimberly in his usual speak and Kim is like, do you think you might be an intellectual? This is really funny to me because Billy has been way better about the science talk lately. Rocky, Aisha, and Adam come up to tell them who they are, and Aisha tells Kimberly that they're best friends who do everything together and go shopping every day. First of all, Aisha, she's known you for like a second. You're not best friends. Secondly, Kim asks why they went shopping every day, and Aisha says that Kim always said you never needed a reason to shop, and Kim says that she was really pathetic. <laughs> Wow, this shit is breaking down that fourth wall real hard. The three say that they're not going anywhere with Adam, Aisha, and Rocky, but then Goldar and the Putty show up, and Rocky tells them to trust them, and they all teleport to the command center. They're freaked out about Zordon, and Billy is shocked by Alpha, saying a line from Day of the Dumpster. Then Kim does too. It's kinda great. Then this episode just shits itself because Adam is now an expert on light waves and he says that they need to project the ray through a prism to scatter things back to normal somehow. I don't know, this plot is thinner than wet paper. Out in the desert, Bulk and Skull are waiting on the rangers to show up and everyone except for Billy and Adam teleport in, freaking them out because they realize who the Power Rangers are now. At Billy's lab, Adam is looking for a collection of prisms, and Billy gets a big science boner over the place. Then Scatterbrain appears in front of Bulk and Skull, and Rocky and Aisha, Tommy, and Kimberly see this, so Rocky and Aisha morph, narrowly missing his beam. Adam and Billy find their prisms as they teleport in, and Bulk and Skull are still shocked about this. And then, the beam hits Adam, making him lose his memory as well. Bulk and Skull are worried about losing the Power Rangers before Aisha and Rocky are hit by the beam as well, also losing their memories. The prisms go flying near Bulk and Skull who look at them. Scatterbrain is stoked because he won. But then Bulk and Skull show up in front of him, challenging him to a showdown. Luckily, they have the prisms behind their backs, so that when Scatterbrain fires at them, they throw them up, somehow making the rangers regain everything including their suits. They go to help Bulk and Skull, who are knocked down, and they have no idea what happened. Uh, of course. Zed makes Scatterbrain grow giant, and it's time to claw the Thunderzords, forming the Thunder Megazord. It fights the Scatterbrain before destroying it. Scatter that. At the Youth Center, Bulk and Skull are talking about how they saved the Power Rangers, but they clearly have no idea how they saved them, so they're just telling a tall tale about how they fought the monster and stuff. And the crowd around them leaves because they don't believe them. Kim and Aisha walk in, and Kim and Aisha say that Bulk and Skull come through in a pinch if needed. So they believe that they saved the Power Rangers. Which then, Bulk and Skull ask them out on dates, and Kim says, let's not take it that far, and they leave. The end. Not gonna lie, this episode was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. 
It helped grow the team overall a bit, and it showed that while the team is still kind of divided between newbies and veterans, the newbies are just as good as the ones that they replaced in a pinch. Well, except for the part where they failed horribly and all almost died. But hey, we got to see Bulk and Skull be the heroes for once, and honestly, that was good enough for me. How will next episode pan out? Until then, may the power protect you.